I thought of working through this problem, um, kind of a word problem in algebra, and I hope it will have benefit to you. Now, let us look at this example. This is your mathematics N4. It says the circumference of a right angle triangle is 24 centimeters. And then the keyword there is circumference. And then it's also a right angle triangle, if I can underline. We are told about the circumference of a right angle triangle. We are told it's a right angle triangle. These are key things. Is 24 centimeters. That value is important. And its hypotenuse is 10 centimeters. All this is um, important information there. It says now determine the length of the other two sides of this right angle triangle. So if we can try to uh, sketch it to say what I'm having here is a right angle triangle, remember? So if I can maybe use um, that, so this is what I'm having. I have got a right angle triangle, which is at 90 degrees, remember, like that. All right, so it says, so this is a right angle triangle. Now let us look at this. It says the circumference of a right angle triangle uh, is 24 centimeters and its hypotenuse is 10. So we are told that the hypotenuse is the longest side. So this is my 10 centimeters. Now it says find the other two sides. So because I don't know the sides, let me call this first side my X and we call this other side my Y. And then let's use the information that we're given here. They are saying the circumference. Now remember circumference is distance around the shape. So if I want to find the circumference, I must add 10 plus X plus Y. Then I'll find the distance right around. The triangle has got three sides. So if I add the first side, which is 10 centimeter, the second side, which is X centimeters, which I will calculate, and the third side, which is the Y centimeters, which I must calculate, it must give me 24. So that's the first part of the equation, which is my X plus my Y plus my 10 it must give me my 24. If I simplify this, uh, take 10 to the other side, it will be my X plus Y is equal to, which is 10, I mean 24 minus 10. And then I've got my X plus Y is equal to 14. This is my first equation, call it equation one. And then from there, let me try to come with the second equation. So this is important, my first equation. Then the second part, it says, um, okay, they gave me the circumference. Now it's a right angle triangle and with the right angle triangle, remember the theorem of Pythagoras and the theorem of Pythagoras, what does it say? It says this sum of the square, which is x squared, plus y squared, which is the sum of the square of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse or the longest side. So now we have got that, which is x squared plus y squared is equal to a hundred. So this is my equation two. So you can see that I have got two equations, which I must solve in this case. And um, I can come up from equation one, I can come up with another equation. If I can say X is equal to, if I can take Y to the other side, it will be X is equal to 14 minus Y. And then this becomes my equation three. So remember, this is now a simultaneous equation that I'm solving. And then I'm going to take equation three here into I will take it into equation 2 remember this is a simple algebra where we are solving simultaneous equations and then when I use that so in equation 2 remember I've got x squared plus y squared is equal to a hundred so now where there is x I must put 14 minus y which is now my 14 
minus y squared. Now, because it is a squared, I will write it twice. 14 minus y, 14 minus y plus y squared is equal to 100. Then I need to expand that. And then if I can find my 14 squared, because it's 14 times 14, which is 14 squared there, it gives me 196. So I've got 196. I'm expanding that and I'm expanding that. I will expand that and I'm expanding that. So I've got 196 and then minus 14y minus 14y to be minus 28y. Negative y times negative y, it will be y squared plus y squared is equal to 100. Now you can see that what I'm simply doing now is solving for x. Uh, collect like terms, I've got y squared plus y squared, which is 2y squared minus 28y. And then 196, the 100 will jump to join 196. So it will be 196 minus 100, which is uh, positive 96 is equal to 0. I can divide everything here by 2. And then it will simplify um, further to become y squared and then minus this becomes 14y and then 96 divided by 2 just so that I don't make errors 96 over 2 there it is 48 so it will be plus 48 is equal to a 0 um, there are many ways you can solve this. You can quickly use your um, quadratic equation. Or, I mean quadratic formula here. Remember it says x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then this is all over 2a. So you will have therefore your x is equal to minus minus 14 plus or minus square root of negative 14 squared which is your b minus 4 your a is 1 your c is 48 divide everything by 2a which is a 1 there and your calculator will give you now there is um actually i must correct this this is where usually errors are common. You see, the formula is in terms of x, but I'm calculating in this case, I'm calculating y because I changed x. So even if the formula is in terms of x, you need now to correct that and write the formula in terms of y so that you, you are not calculating and confuse that with x. Remember, you're calculating y. We are yet to find the values of x. So now if I do that, I will have minus negative 14 let's start with the positive um square root of negative 14 squared minus 4 a is 1 and my c is 48 right and then after that divided by 2 a which is a 1 if i do that my first answer y is equal to 8 play forward to put now the negative one remember it's plus or minus and then the other one is y is equal to six so i've got two values of y the other one is um y is equal to eight or y is equal to six so you see i've got two values of y now the question said um find the two lengths so i've got two values of y the question now is what are the values of x now to find the values of x i must go back to my equation 3 remember x is equal to 14 minus y so i'll go and say into 3 here and into 3 it says x is equal to 14 minus y let me write it twice x is equal to 14 minus y now, the first one is, we are saying when y is equal to 8, 
and here it will be y is equal to 6. So let's find uh, the values now of y, I mean of x with these two values of y. So in the first one, it will be x is equal to 14 minus 8. x is equal to 6 here. And the other one is x is equal to 14 minus 6. And x is equal to 8. So you can see that the values are interchanging. Now they never specified in the question which one between the x and the y or the two lengths uh, is longer than the other. They just said in the question here. Uh, determine the length of the other two sides of the right angle triangle. So we have we we know that it's either x is eight or six or y is eight or six. So what you can um, conclude, you can say here. Therefore, one side is equal to eight centimeters, and second side. is equal to six centimeters you can even test it test it remember they said the circumference was um uh, what was the circumference if you can go back to the question they said um the circumference i mean the circumference which is the distance right around the shape it's supposed to be the perimeter i prefer the word perimeter there because circumference is usually when it's a circular object now it says the perimeter, the circumference is 24 centimeters. So now if I can add, remember 10 here, and then my x, let's say my x here is 8. When x is 8, remember my y must be 6. So if you say 10 plus 8 plus 6, you will get therefore that perimeter of 24 centimeters, which meets the condition of that. Now I hope this was of benefit to you. Uh, and you got some hints on how you can solve such questions. If you uh, benefited from the lesson, you can press our like button or alternatively, you can subscribe to our channel so that next time we post a new video, you are able to be notified immediately. We have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.